Yo yo, so this is another personal video to let you know what happened the past days and weeks. You know, I'm doing this apprenticeship at SAP as an IT specialist. Um, SAP is this huge IT company that um, makes software and sells software. And I was thinking to quit it and say, fuck it, I'm not gonna work for a huge company that makes billions of profit. But then I was also thinking, you know, um, I could learn some very useful skills there because in that department where I will work eventually um, they monitor thousands of servers and what if I know how to do that what if I understand and can fix issues um, then I think it's super cool because I can use these skills for something good for maybe working at Doctors Without Borders or supporting Wikipedia pretty much everything is more or less digitized in today's world so it will become very important to um, yeah have people who don't make profit out of that but use these skills for something good and yeah that's what I'm trying to do of course I understand if I finish this apprenticeship and then I could work for a another company or I can continue to be at SAP and make a lot of um, money then I might be like okay fuck it I'm just gonna have a good life now and <laughs> um, but yeah I, I don't want to do that uh, because of course this trade system that we play day by day is eventually um, gonna fuck us up like everybody we cannot escape this society so I will go into the system, if you will. I will use that time to learn some very useful skills to then provide alternatives. And I'm just thinking about our trade-free um, services that we offer on trom.tf. We are basically trying to provide alternatives to all the big companies like Facebook or Google. Like we have the Cirque search engine we have a social um, network which is called Friendica as a Facebook alternative. We are also providing alternatives to Dropbox to like store your files um, and also um, what is it called? We transfer to like transfer images or documents um, and all trade free without ads, without data collection, no bullshit. And what if I will be able to scale up what we have there to um, yeah provide services for more people because it's now we cannot uh, provide for millions of people um, maybe hundreds yes but um, we need to scale up and if i know how to do that then i could also work on that for example so yeah these are some thoughts that i have um, <laughs> But I also try to yeah, enjoy the present moment. I've been in fucking Berlin this weekend. There was a lot of fun. I was just dancing in the club, enjoying the present moment. And um, yeah, I like electronic music. I like to dance and um, so it was super cool. But in Berlin, <laughs> it's also crazy because like, uh, yeah, a lot of people do a lot of drugs in Berlin. And um, I have nothing against that, but um, yeah, like, I mean, if your uh, life revolves only around drugs or if you just do drugs every day, then I think it's not good. So you should also have a balance in that. And um, yeah, then I was also walking around in Berlin just to see, explore, soak in everything what I see there. And I've been in some shops and <laughs> I was just thinking, you know, this system that we're living in right now, this trade-based society, where pretty much everything is based on trade. I give you this, then you, you give me that. I have to provide this in order to get that. And I was just walking through some shops, through the Nike shop, through H&M, through C&A, which is another um, clothing shop. I was walking through um, Reve, some um, discounter and, and food stores and what I see there is an abundance. In, in Mediamarkt there is so much stuff, there are so, so many um, computers, laptops, um, TVs, uh, wash machines, everything but it's just this thing of trade, you know, you have to give this in order to 
get the wash machine. Um, and I'm just thinking it doesn't make sense because look around you, we have so much stuff that we create waste out of that stuff. You know, we buy it, then we uh, have it, we own it for a certain amount of time and then we throw it away. And is that sustainable? Of course not. So it was just interesting to walk around these shops, seeing all that abundance basically. Um, but then you have also some homeless people in Berlin and it's just, um, yeah, a tragedy to know that a third of all food that we like produce is being thrown away just because of our fucked up trade based society. Yeah, so um, that was that for now, I think. Otherwise, I'm okay. Um, I feel quite comfortable here in Dresden. I can go to the Sächsische Schweiz and go for some hikes there. Um, I can go along the Elbe with a bike. I can go to the Alaun Park and do slacklining there. So it's super cool. But now, of course, the winter is coming, so it's getting cold in Germany. Mm. But I also like winter. I like to do snowboard, for example. So I, I'm planning of going into the Czech Republic, maybe in December or January and just fucking snowboard and <laughs> enjoy that. So let's see. Um, otherwise, maybe Austria would be cool. But a thing which is also getting worse right now is COVID. So um, the cases are rising um, in Germany a lot. And this is because, yeah, you know, there are many people who don't want to get vaccinated. Um, so it's, it's a bit messed up the situation here in Germany. Um, I want to get my booster vaccination soon, maybe next week or so. Um, yeah, but there are many people, they don't want to get vaccinated because they think, oh, the pharmacy industry, they want to chip me or yeah, whatever kind of bullshit conspiracy theories are around there. Um, so yeah, that was it for now. And I'm just gonna say, see you in the next video. Of course, I will continue making videos about the Money Game and Beyond book. Um, I will edit one video now and upload it soon. And then, um, of course, I will continue with the series. All right, see you then in the next video. And as always, take care and much love.